Welcome back, Space to Get Us, to another episode of Fast Five. Well, let's get to it. is we are four days away from the release of the Avengers Infinity War and so what we got for you today is some fast facts about some lesser known Avengers. What are the movies Gramps? So we got the first one coming out with The Incredible Hulk that came out in 2008 then Ant-Man 2015, Doctor Strange 2016 and Spider-Man Homecoming coming out in 2017. All right then let's cut the chit chat and get started. We're going to kick things off with Fantastic Hero number one. Though he hasn't had any recent hit singles, the Incredible Hulk is one of the most iconic superheroes of all time. His presence can be seen in pop culture with some of his quotes being Hulk smash in very popular memes, or even his alter ego's name, Bruce Banner, being commonly referenced in rap music. Even in our own conversations, we might refer to someone who is extremely angry or upset as being the Hulk himself. Hell, I remember as a kid having those green foam Hulk gloves with speakers in them, which were perfect for just smashing anything in sight. Although Gamma Rays may have made him uncontrollable in the movies, he sure knows how to be way more popular than I am. And to get back into things, we have Fantastic Hero number two. <laughs> so coming at you with Ant-Man from 2015, the original Ant-Man character was created by Stan Lee, Larry Lieber, and Jack Kirby. His first appearance was Tales to Astonish number 27, coming in January 1962. The comic, uh, Tales to Astonish number 27, can be worth up to $200,000 in today's market. Superhero alias of Ant-Man is Hank Pym. Other uh, aliases have taken on the role of Ant-Man, Scott Lang and Eric O'Grady, after Pym changed his superhero identity to the Giant Man. Hank Pym was a leading authority in myrmecology, or for us non-science folks, the study of ants. He's also known for the size shifting from nearly microscopic to about 100 feet gigantic on both sides of the spectrum. Some of his ants over the years have had names. Uh, one of the most famous ones for those vinyl and old uh, Odie lovers out there, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, with the three ants um, whom escorted Ant-Man into the Vision's body. And to get right back into it again, we have Fantastic Hero number three. So Dr. Strange, uh, the talented neurosurgeon, smart, egotistical, and selfish, his own hubris brought him to the devastating car accident that led him to become uh, the superhero known as Dr. Strange. He's a master of the mystical arts, channeled, which can be channeled through staffs, the sling rings, which are seen in the movie, uh, and ancient artifacts like the Cloak of Levitation, which Dr. Strange is known for, and the Eye of Agamotto, hiding one of the Infinity Stones. He was concerned, which was also seen at the end of Thor Ragnarok, concerned about Loki's presence on Earth, leading to something happening with the Infinity Stones, which leads us right into Avengers Infinity War. Um, currently, Doctor Strange is located in the Man Manhattan Sanctum at 177A Bleecker Street, uh, and the character was originally dreamed up by S Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. Ditko is the main uh, artist and was really well known for Doctor Strange. He was really never a superstar of the Marvel Universe and was unheralded back in 1963 in Strange Tales number 110 as a back of the book feature to the Human Torch, says the New York Times. The other interesting fact, as I was just sharing with my colleague, Super Saiyan, in Octopus, the ancient one in the comics was actually uh, an Asian male and not a Celtic woman as seen by Tilda Swinton's character in Doctor Strange 2016. And to wrap things off, we have our fantastic four. Oh, we have our fantastic hero number four. So Peter Parker, our classic web slinging Spider Man, has a lot that you know has been given to us in hints in the uh, Spider Man Homecoming movie and in the trailer for Marvel Avengers Infinity War. This one apparent fact that I would like to make clear is the special uniform that we see Peter Parker, Spider-Man use in uh, especially the uh, Avengers Infinity War trailer and the updated suit he gets in Spider-Man Homecoming. So just a little fact about the suit. It's known as the Stark Spider uniform, clearly made by Tony Stark, or the Iron Spider. This uniform was built for Spider-Man by the one and only Tony Stark, obviously, and originally designed to replace the red and blue suit that he, you know, originally built himself. This suit was built to be faster and stronger, and it came with three handy, fully functioning spider legs that popped out of the back of the uniform on command. It was built during the Civil War event when Spider-Man sided with Iron Man over the identity crisis. 
The spider arms could act as functioning arms, had cameras on the ends of the legs, and were articulated so they, that they could be used as grippers. So I think this is interesting because we really haven't seen any of that side of the suit besides, you know, it's a classic uh, Tony Stark original, you know. So to wrap up with Spider-Man, our classic web slinger, Peter Parker, I wanted to look at one of the ideas that I always kind of got lost in when looking at the character himself, and that was his, the webs that he would shoot. Uh, back in the old movies, the classic Peter Parker that I knew uh, had the ability from the, you know, the classic spider bite that made him Spider-Man, giving him the powers of strength and uh, shooting webs out of his, his wrists. Uh, but in the in the movies that we have now, Spider Man Homecoming, you see that it's a techno it's it's technology that he built that gives him that gives him this compound that is highly strengthened web material that is a utility on top of the superhuman strength and uh, spider sense that the classic spider bite gives Peter Parker. So. It, the movies didn't get it completely wrong. At one point in his timeline, Spider-Man was able to shoot his his own webbing. At some point during his career, he developed glands in his forearms that allowed him to produce and shoot webbing the same way that the web shooters had when he first created them. During this time, he would eventually have given to the web slingers to Mary Jane to wear them as bracelets in case she ran into a trouble. So... I just thought that was an interesting fact uh, to wrap things off. and So as we just finished uh, kind of wrapping up the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe for you with all of the most recent films, except uh, this Wednesday we're going to be releasing uh, our final uh, Fast Five on Black Panther, the most recent addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, right before we see on Thursday night uh, at 7 o'clock mm -hmm. uh, the release of Avengers Infinity War, which again we will be uh, reviewing uh, right okay. afterwards that night and then posting on Friday for our fans uh, to get kind of an instant review of uh, the movie itself and you know we will put out there you know the, we'll try not to do too much spoiling but hey we're going to see it as soon as it comes out and we're excited about it but as we kind of wrap up everything uh, make sure to like subscribe and comment down below on our videos and to our channel and so make sure to give some love to these characters Hulk, Ant-Man, Doctor Strange and Spider-Man uh, as they continue to be uh, strengthened throughout Marvel's uh, Avengers Affinity War coming out to you this uh, Thursday night uh, it'll be interesting to see how all these characters play into uh, the cinematic universe and where the battle might be being taken by Thanos uh, into the next phase of this universe so this is Gramps uh, signing out. This is Octopus signing out. He's here! Hey. This is Super Saiyan signing out. We'll catch you later, Space Cadets. Over and out. Interesting. Mm. Indeed. Oh. Indeed. Oh. <laughs> wow. The outtakes are real. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> Kicking off with the fa last fantastic. Fan the fa fantastic. With the fat fact, <laughs> boy number two. <laughs> <laughs> no. Coming with the last fantastic here at number four, we got Super Sam. Bring us home. Unintended. Oh.